Hello again, everybody. Steve Beverly with your final bout of the evening in this ring at Hub City Fight Night, brought to you by One Call Restoration and by Worthy Road Studios. And these are two heavyweights. Caden Corona is, he is in the red corner. He's in the black with the red trim. He's 15 years old, representing Campbellsville Boxing at 210 pounds. And Chase Kirkland is 14. He is wearing the red top and the blue trunks. 236 pounds. He's the heaviest guy we've had tonight. And he's from Truman Boxing in Arkansas. And he is all over his opponent with lefts and rights. Right there in the corner. And trying to get away from this flurry is Caden Corona. And he is just having a difficult time because he's giving away about 25 pounds. And it is Kirkland just delivering the blows. Now he's being backed up against the corner. One and a half minute rounds that you have. Here they go again. That was a glancing blow to the right of the protective gear. Trying to lead, and there goes a right by Caden, right here behind our broadcast position. And the ref separates them once again. It's our last bout of 15 in this ring, 29 overall. Jackson Milner has had some real action over in his ring tonight. Let's see how they play this one here in the center of the ring. You got only about 20 seconds left and that's it. My clock timer was incorrect. So that was a huge, huge flurry at the beginning of that one. Well, let me tell you about our sponsor, One Call Restoration. And we really appreciate their sponsorship of this event tonight from the National Guard Armory in Jackson, Tennessee. One Call Restoration specializes in damages that are called by, caused by fire, water, smoke, wind, and they do conventional remodeling even if it hasn't been damaged. They've got all the expertise in the world. So call the restoration experts today at 731-697-0110. Again, the number, 731-697-0110. And our thanks to the good folks, Josh Wagner and everyone else at one Call Restoration for sponsoring Hub City Fight Night right here on YouTube and Facebook. Here we go with round two. Kirkland again is on your left in the red and blue and in the black is Caden. And again, the aggressor is Kirkland. Going all over it, trying to retaliate is Caden. Caden with Absolutely wild lefts and rights. And the official is telling him not to shove away with the gloves. And once again, Kirkland is the aggressor, but Caden is making some responses. It's hard to believe that Kirkland is only 14 years old. Both of these guys have about four years of Golden Gloves experience. There he goes, pinning him up against the ropes again and going in with a flurry to the body. And the official finally separates them. And he's trying to be sure that Caden can continue. As we say, you see a lot more standing eight counts in Golden Gloves now than you did 10 years ago, primarily because they want to make this a safer sport. There goes one to the chin and a response back by Caden. About 30 seconds left in this round. So here we go. Kirkland is from Arkansas. He goes 236 pounds. 
Corona from Campbellsville Boxing. He is at 210. But I got to tell you, as we said in one that was about two bouts ago, these guys go at it so hard that it is very, very difficult for them not to just be exhausted when it's over. You may say, well, they're only going to be in the ring for four and a half minutes all told. Yeah, but if you go at it with the kind of activity that they have, it is absolutely, you just cannot imagine the intensity. And that's just, that's emotionally as well as physically in the ring. And we're about ready for the third and final round of our final bout of the evening. And let's see if it's going to be Kirkland or Caden who will prevail. We've had a couple of knockdowns tonight. These guys are just really a huge flurry. Going to have a little bit of an adjustment to the headgear for Kirkland. And here we go. All right, final 90 seconds of action and going right to it again. A long lead with a left for Kirkland, then he backs away from it. He goes in with another left to the chin. And pounds away with a right to the head. And Caden has not had a huge amount of answers for this one. And there's, there's one attempting to go back with the right and going to the side of the head. Kirkland, again, he took one right to the mouth. Caden again trying to hold him off here as we get into about the final 40 seconds of this bout. And again, it's Caden the aggressor now. The official separates them. And it's a standing eight count on Kirkland. So that's a complete turnaround from what we saw earlier in this bout. That's the first standing eight count, and this time it was Kirkland. Caden has been finding a little bit of an answer, going to the head again. And one to the jaw, another one to the jaw, another right, and a left, and another right. And that's it. So I don't know how the first two rounds are being scored, but Corona Caden came up with an answer in that third round, and he responded. So it's up to the judges now to decide what it's going to be. Kirkland's got his followers there, and he comes over for a shaking for a congratulations. Great sportsmanship that you see here in Golden Gloves. Let me remind you one final time about one call restoration. They do water mitigation, fire and smoke cleaning and repair, wind and storm damages, structural repairs, hail damage, roofing, remodeling, crawl space maintenance and humidity control, odor removal, emergency repairs and temporary services, and floor coverings. Call them if you need that service. It's at 731-697-0110. And here we go with the final bout of the evening, the final decision. The winner comes away with the belt, and the loser gets a plaque. And here they go. And we're waiting to see what the judges' decision are. The decisions are because Kate made a huge comeback in that third round and got a standing eight count on Kirkland. Here we go. And we'll take it to the ring announcer as soon as they have verified the decision. We're glad to have had you with us here tonight at the National Guard Armory in Jackson, Tennessee. And we hope you'll join us again for the fourth annual Hub City Fight Night right here. Jackson Milner has been with me, Steve Beverly, and we hope you have enjoyed all of these 29 bouts tonight. One of which didn't actually occur because one of the competitors did not show up. Here we go. And it goes. 
to Chase Kirkland. Apparently those first two rounds impressed the judges enough and Kirkland is the winner of the belt. But you gotta hand it to Corona Caden for making a tremendous comeback in the third round. He'll take that plaque home with him and he has nothing to be ashamed about. So that is gonna wrap it up here tonight. It's been a wonderful evening and I hope you've enjoyed us. Remember our sponsor, One Call Restoration, the folks that will take care of all your needs if you have wind or storm damage, fire, water, smoke, 731-697-0110 is the number. And Worthy Road Studios, their number, 731-499-1730 for the finest in TV production and streaming services. So for Jackson Milner, Paul Schultze, Lawson Mann, and all of us here at the National Guard Armory in Jackson, Tennessee, this is Steve Beverly for Hub City Fight Night saying so long from the great Hub City of West Tennessee. <laughs>